Let's talk about the Nintendo Switch 2 that's going to be coming out sometime in 2024. First things first, guys, make sure that you like and subscribe. If you like gaming news, I'm going to keep you guys up to date. I upload very frequently. Just hit the like and subscribe if you're into this type of news. So the Nintendo Switch 2 is obviously going to be an update rather than a new iteration. It's not going to be a new console to the library of Nintendo's vast library of new consoles. I guess instead of reinventing the wheel, they realize that the Nintendo Switch is actually something that's going to be very versatile and work very well with all the games that they're going to be making going forward after 2024. For. So when will it be launching and what are the details? So far, we've only got info that the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to launch sometime in 2024. However, if you look at Nintendo's history and the prior launch dates of all their consoles, you could probably come to the assumption that it's going to be either early spring or holiday season 2024. As the GameCube, the Wii, the Wii U, the Switch, and other consoles have all launched sometime within that window. And if you're asking me, I'm going to take the nihilistic approach and just say that it's probably going to be the holiday season because the current state of gaming has a lot of delays, a lot of production issues, and and also we need to consider we're kind of in like a silent recession. Spring that might be good for a tax season squeeze, but at the same time, a lot of people schedule a lot of vacations in that time. And again, that's probably a good reason why it's not going to launch in summer because the summer season usually doesn't have a lot of big gaming announcements and or launches. This is, you know, just a historical thing that Nintendo has done to just make sure that it's launched in like September or November and make sure that, you know, people can roll that into their Christmas list, whatever holiday you celebrate. Between September and December, more likely in November, but what do we expect from the Switch 2? I've been kind of pondering on this for a little bit, and I've been thinking about the Nintendo Switch. This thing just, like, works. If I want to break these things off, these are two controllers. That's perfect. This can also be used as motion-sensitive, like, Wii Chucks. Perfect. If I wanted to put it on a TV or a display, I could just throw it inside of the dock. Nintendo Switch is essentially the perfect portable gaming system. Why reinvent the wheel? Now, the price point is rumored to be $400. That's very competitive with the Steam Deck, which is offering some really good graphics and a big Steam library access. There's officially new competition for the Switch, and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think that the Steam Deck would be as good as it is or as popular as it is. Two completely different demographics, but let's just go over the specs. With a $550 price point, that's going to get you a 512 gigabyte solid state drive, a 1200 by 800 HDR OLED display, 7.4 inch diagonal display size, and a 90 hertz refresh rate. Nintendo actually has like almost like a religiously amazing good calling for a fan base. Wholeheartedly believe if they even just like come kind of close to that, that Nintendo will outsell the Steam Deck. In fact, I think if Nintendo didn't even come near those specs, it would still be extremely successful enough to say it's better than the Steam Deck. But now we know the capabilities of the handheld consoles that are going to be going forward in 2024 in the competition and the level that they're going to have to set themselves up to. Nintendo Switch does have some underlying issues with stick drift. The power and the graphics that are driving the console are just a little dated. Would definitely not hate to see them at least match or surpass the Steam Deck's resolution. Especially if there's a docking option it would be amazing to see some games remastered in 4K 60 frames. 1440 60 frames? 1080 60 frames. It's about all we know until more likely February where Nintendo has a direct event where hopefully they're going to be giving some details surrounding the new console. And guys, I don't, let me know in the comments what you think. Personally, I think that this is a very solid console. I don't think there's a need to reinvent the wheel. However, I do think that there is a need to update the wheel because it's pretty clunky right now in comparison to some of the competition that's been released, and I think that they just need to step up that competition. The beauty of capitalism, sometimes the consumer does win.